Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss more about the mock server. So previous video has covered about creating a mock server. So we went to the mock server and we created a mock server through this particular process. Now there is also other way you can directly go to the collection and create a mock server from there. But what we did previously was to create a new collection and whatever mock server we created, a corresponding collection got created against that mock server. Okay. So I've deleted that old one to uh, to create a new one which will be which will be working further and understand what is the usage of examples within the mock server and how you can achieve different scenarios in API testing using mock server. So for example, let's work with the auth one, right? So I simply want to test some of the authentication scenarios wherein success response comes in, invalid user comes in, invalid password comes in and I want to validate those messages on the UI or developer is trying to use those messages on the UI and see how the UI looks in case of any of those scenarios and response. So here we have chosen new collection, right? Response code for the success. Uh, simply let's keep it as 200 okay as of now, okay? And in the response body, I'll simply say or success. Okay, so this is what all we did and I'll simply say RCV mock server, okay, as the name and then here there is another option which I missed last time. So make mock server private. This is something which will make your mock server private. So you will need an API key in order to access the mock server. Okay, so there is nothing else if you want to map or basically create an environment, right? So you can simply also go ahead or choose the environment, right? So which is specific, right, to, to this particular mock server okay or you can say save the mock server url as a new environment variable right so i can either choose one or i can save it as a new environment variable okay so i'll simply check this and click on create mock server so you'll see that mock server got created and i have got the url right now if i go to the collection i should be able to see the rcv mock server collection already created and one post request is there okay so let me rename this and then I'll move it to the top. Okay, so now it moved to the top. Now, say for example, if we have different scenarios, right? Different scenarios, for example, authentication success, authentication failed, and we want different responses, headers, etc. How we can achieve that? So in Postman, you have a concept of examples and with mock, you can set up different examples for each of those scenarios. So now if I go ahead and hit this particular request right so this is the mock request and you will see in the url automatically this particular the new mock that got created is available and also we have checked in the environment to create an environment so if we simply say rcv mock server you'll see that it got created automatically right and you will see that now this url is basically or that environment the url is coming from the environment instead of the collection Okay, so either ways, if you don't choose the environment, it will get that URL from the collection variable, which gets saved when the collection gets created during the process of mock server creation. Okay, so now if I go ahead and send this, you we know that we'll get a response or success, right? Now, with this response, okay, I want to also test invalid scenarios, right? So basically, in uh, when, when the authorization failed. So what you can do is you can simply save the this particular request as an example okay so i can say save as an example the response okay and here i can say okay this is success and in the path you can specify a different path for the success so you know that if you will hit this particular path you should get success and also here in the response you can choose what exactly what type of text you want whether you want json or xml or html right or a simple text so if i want a json response in this particular case what i'll do is i'll simply choose json and i will convert this to json so i'll say okay just the message there so message followed by colon and i'll success okay so now the response will come like this when the success when we hit this particular endpoint okay so if i and you'll see that status code also you can change so at the moment this is auth success so i'll keep it as 200 okay all right you can also update what all headers you are expecting okay so you can specify what all headers you are expecting when the response comes for this particular endpoint so i can go ahead and add more key and values in the headers as well along with the body okay so if i simply go ahead and save it and go to collection here you will see a success has been saved okay if i go 
to the default again i'll send this try it and you'll see that auth success is here again okay the default and now i'll save another example okay so let me save another example and this is invalid username okay so let's assume this is invalid username okay so i'll copy that and in the path i'll simply say okay invalid username all right and then here in the response i want status code as 401 unauthorized okay and in the response i want json so json message there and here i'll simply say okay message should be sent back as invalid user name no user found okay and save this example all right now what will be the next example let me close all of these tabs we go back here so you'll see we have an example for the success invalid username let me have another example for the invalid password as well so i'll save another example and i'll say this as invalid password copy this and i'll have another path okay so that we segregate what endpoint we are hitting so that we get appropriate response that we are expecting and here as well we'll say 401 unauthorized okay and then so it failed okay and change it just all right so let's save this as well right now we have what we have done we have basically use this particular mock server to have different examples right now in the ui okay in the ui if say for example i want a success flow to be tested then this endpoint will be called okay this basically this endpoint if this endpoint is called then we should be getting authentication success if this endpoint is being called okay then this particular message should result and if invalid password endpoint is called okay then this particular auth failed message should come along with this status code all right so now these endpoints and these examples can be used during the testing during the development to get different response from the mock server and can be utilized on the ui or for further flow in the api testing as well for example i explain about the payment gateway right so we can have a example of a payment gateway for example visa success right so visa uh, payment visa credit card payment success right so that will give us the response as a json body with all the required headers and that is pretty standard that has been agreed upon from the visa and that's how they are going to send so that same details can be mocked in the body and the header and everything and that will be basically sending us the, the uh, dummy response which will be a success response for visa purchase for a test card and if the purchase is successful then the order should be placed successfully and order placement fulfillment rest all thing then can be tested instead of setting up the real server right so that's the whole point of or advantage of having the mock server and setting up different scenarios different scenarios used by using the example within mock server right so now if we know that yeah we have to test success i'll simply go ahead and try it out and this should send me a auth success response okay if i want the invalid username then this should send me the invalid username okay so there are other ways that we can achieve this as well so for example i'll just send this default one okay and when saving or basically when i save this as an example all right let me change this json response okay so what i can do is i can basically in the parameters okay so i can in the in the parameters i can say i can define a key and that key i can pass as a success or invalid username and password accordingly so i'll say okay key as a scenario all right and the value accordingly so for example value is success okay so if i pass scenario value as success then it should re respond with this 200 okay and the message should be authorized and i'll go ahead and save it and in this particular case so now if i go ahead to the collection okay Oh, it got saved as auth okay so this one basically right so now here if i send this as success okay then it will return me messages authorized okay then say for example i go back and save another example so basically another example and in the key scenario as invalid user right so invalid user or invalid password okay so let's quickly do that so this is invalid password 241 unauthorized and in the query param scenario invalid pass okay and save it didn't change that all so let me change one okay so now if i go ahead and send a request basically if say for example i 
send that query param okay that i have set so for example here okay now we know that if i send the key as key that was set as was scenario and invalid password and the success right so this was invalid password oh both became invalid password let me change it so value here was success right so change it to success save it go to collections and now here if i go back and pass the key as scenario okay and the value as success make sure the spelling is correct and send this i should get the response which is authorized okay and if i change this to invalid password and send this i should get the response invalid password okay so this is basically how you are going to manage these examples through the query params as well okay so either ways whatever you feel that is better as per the scenarios that you are testing okay you can go ahead and follow that particular approach to mock the services within postman right so this example part is really important to understand mocking within the postman because this will help you to get different scenarios mock different scenarios quickly and use those endpoints to test different outcome edge cases etc okay so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching